Aston Villa in 2022, according to Football Manager 2017. This season, Aston Villa are looking to return to the Premier League at the second time of asking, but on Football Manager, the villains are still languishing in the second tier of football come the year 2022. Seemingly locked in the Championship, the closest Villa got to return to the Premier League was a playoff final defeat to Derby in 2019. With Villa failing to gain promotion, there have of course been managerial changes. Steve Bruce retired from his post at Villa Park and was replaced by Lee Johnson, the man who always looks like he is about to cry. The floodgates probably did open when Johnson was sacked and Aston Villa are now managed by current Yeovil town boss Darren Way. So let's look at how Aston Villa are lining up in the year 2022. In goal it's Pierluigi Gallini. The Italian had a rocky start to life at Villa Park and after just half a season was sent out on loan to Atlanta for 18 months. Now back in England, Gallini has re-established himself and has been the Aston Villa number one ever since he got back from his temporary stint in Serie A and is the third longest serving player in this 11. Right back is Chris Solly. When Tony Jaa first arrived at the club, the Chinese owner was splashing the cash like there was no tomorrow, but that's not happening anymore in 2022, although the doctor is still the Aston Villa owner. Instead, gaffer Darren Way is having to search for bargains whilst working on a minimal budget. Defender Chris Solly costs just £425,000 and his performances have shown just why he was so cheap, with Solly on the brink of losing his place in the first team to Darnell Furlong. Centre back is Tommy Elphick. At 34 years old, Tommy Elphick is still a villain and once again an important player after Steve Bruce left the club, where his future was looking to be at risk. His contract is up at the end of the season, so Villa may need to start looking for a replacement with James Chester having been shipped off to Sunderland and another current Villa defender playing out of position, but more on that to come. Next up it's Nathan Smith. Another example of Villa fishing for bargains, Smith cost just £625,000 from Port Vale and the youngster has proven to be a handy acquisition, having been a solid first team regular since his arrival in 2020. Unfortunately there's no John Terry though as we began this game before he signed for Villa but he could feasibly still be there in 2022 in the Championship, since he's so desperate to avoid playing against Chelsea. Left back is Nathan Baker. The club's longest serving player having come through the Villa youth system, Baker has made more than 200 appearances in Claret and Blue, and is being deployed at left back rather than his favoured centre half, which really isn't going well. The big burly brute is hardly the attacking outlet you need in the modern game. They previously had Jordan Amavi, but he was sold to West Ham in 2020 for £6.5 million. On the right of midfield it's Ryan Kent. The Liverpool youngster seemingly has a lot of potential, but he doesn't appear to be reaching it in the year 2022 on Football Manager. Kent was sold in 2019 for a nominal fee to Brentford, who were dipping in and out of the Premier League, and is now in the midst of a season long loan at Villa Park, where he's hardly setting the world alight at the age of 25. In the middle is Jack Price. In the summer of 2017, before Tony Jarre stopped handing out wads of cash, Villa paid £4.8 million for Jack Price from Neighbours Wolves and has shown his worth, churning out consistent performances every season as a deep-lying playmaker. He's alongside Conor Hurahan. In 2022, Aston Villa fans are still singing D-D-D-D-D-D-D Conor Hurahan, and with good reason. The midfielder is now the Villa captain at the age of 30 and the club's best player by a country mile, racking up a combined 32 assists over the last two seasons. I imagine that's what they're singing, unless by 2022 there's another pop song that perfectly fits his name. On the left of midfield it's Jay Rodriguez. In reality, Rodriguez has just agreed to move to West Brom, but in 2022 on Football Manager, the forward is playing for a different Midlands club. After a failed move to Swansea, Rodriguez is looking to revive his career in the Championship with Aston Villa, having continuously had so many seasons ruined by injury. And they say footy manager isn't realistic. Up front it's Takuma Asano. Remember that Japanese striker who Arsenal bought last season but couldn't get a work permit for? Well he's finally got that work permit and in the year 2022 is playing for Aston Villa, having cost 3.5 million quid from Arsenal where he has scored a mediocre 36 goals in 106 games. And finally, it's Scott Hall. Hall by name, goal Hall by nature. The only regen in this team, 
Hall came through the ranks at Aston Villa and is now a first team regular at the age of 19, scoring 12 goals in 23 games so far this season, making him the second top scorer in the division. With a name like Hall, it's unknown if he's the club's top shagger, but he is certainly the top scorer. So that's Aston Villa in 2022 according to Football Manager 2017. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.